always got to get a little bit excited when it we is. change seasons. Like, ooh, it's we like, get to find a new background. Ooh, new, new outfits. I've changed. I got to find an outfit this week. I don't have a good spring outfit. I'm going to have to find something. I'm going to have to get, I need some sort of like hippie sundress. Yeah. I have yeah. been going through, I go through those phases and you probably, you, cause I, cause obviously I changed for the show, but like, I'll go through depressive, not really depressive, but you can tell I'm not on my game cause I'm wearing like yeah. the same clothes every day. Cause I work from home. I wear so. the same clothes every day anyway. No, 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 no. Like, like, like really bad. Like I've got a shirt that it should have been washed a month ago, but okay, yeah, I know so that. I've been yeah, wearing, okay, that's a little different, but yeah, I've been wearing, I've been wearing, uh, these black and black and red plaid pants with a black and royal blue striped sweater. Uh-huh. And it clashes so hard. Every time I see myself, I'm like, this is really what you should be wearing all the time. Like for some reason I was playing off. So I'm like, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to get like three just pairs, be of, loud these bla- as fuck out in three the world. pairs yeah. of these plaid pants with different colors. And then like three or four sweaters of, of stripes and like, be like, that's a, that's mix mass. That's mix mass girl. Hey babe. That's been my fashion philosophy for the last 15 years is like, I wear one thing. I have like three outfits that Mm -hmm. I interchange every season and that's it. And when you see me out in the world, I'm wearing the same clothes (laughs) almost all the time. And it's a, it's, it's not by mistake and it's not because being poor and it's, I mean, it's part of, it's partly that it's like, but like really it's, it's intentional. And what it is, is it's branding. Like it's like like, Bart Simpson. You people know what to expect. It's a uniform. People know yeah. what you look like and they remember you because you're that person that wears that thing. And like and it and even if they don't think of it like that, they do remember it like that. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Like, especially when I was like an active musician and like on the scene and a mild celebrity, it was like that was a thing that I absolutely did. It's like I look like when I go out, <laughs> like because yeah. that's what looks like and like I did actually improve the fashion scene and personally I did it I know I did it I watched it happen because like that fucking town is a fucking town of fucking slobs and like I was like "Mm, ain't me I'm wearing fucking velvet and looking fucking good and I did and I started and I did that long enough where yeah. people started to notice and they started stepping up to their games and then people would start going to the bars like dressing nice and wearing suits and shit. And I was like, fuck yeah, I did that. That kind of reminds me of the improv scene here where um, no one had tattoos, in, mm-hmm. which was weird. And then I started getting That's tattoos. just weird anyway. This is weird. And then uh, suddenly everyone at the theater started getting tattoos mm-hmm. and I was just like, can I say? What can I say? And... Two people yeah, transitioned after I did. I, I really need to harness the power of my uh, my cult of personality or whatever it is. Yeah, you people do, and, like, and you should because you you definitely have that. Like, and and I think I think rock and mix match fucking awesome is awesome way to go. Being loud and clashy as fuck is great. I love yeah. that. Like, you've definitely got a style that's you, and I love it. Yeah, thank you. I love you. Wait, too. what do you want to start? Let's do business. 